would win in a fight? A squirrel the size of a Rottweiler or a gorilla the size of a bulldog? So not much disparity in the size. I'd say a Rottweiler is what maybe about a third larger than a bulldog. Um, of course, you know, a you know, the, you know, you know, the ins and the outs of the gorilla. They're very human like, but very powerful. And okay, the okay. squirrel is very agile and very clawy. <laughs> yeah. Wait, so they're fighting each other, correct? I just want to. Correct. Okay, Fight okay. to the death. Squirrel, the size of a Rottweiler versus a gorilla, the size of a bulldog. Uh, I said, I, I, I think the squirrel is dangerous. Don't get me wrong. Uh, but I think because there isn't a major, like a, a gigantic size disparity, cause I'm, I'm going on the high end of a bulldog here too. Like you okay. can get a pretty big ass bulldog. Uh, so it, th- that bulldog sized gorilla has thumbs and the squirrel doesn't. And so okay. <laughs> it's, I think it's going to be able to, and it's, I would assume equally as agile, uh, strong. I think it's probably quicker than a full size gorilla. Squirrel, Rottweiler size squirrel, probably slower than normal size squirrel. Mm. So I think everything kind of balances itself out to the gorilla really fucking that squirrel up, quite frankly. Okay, Wes, do you think uh, Alan has pulled the right amount of logic out of this terribly logical question? (laughs) Depends upon who you ask. I don't. I, uh, I don't know. Any logic can be drawn from this. I guess I would just need to know, and it's almost an impossible question to to answer. Like, what attributes get magnified or don't get magnified via the 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 uh, the, the shrink or the the enlargement? You know what I mean? Well, I would say that Alan did bring up a good point. Now, does a squirrel seem fast because a squirrel's so small? And would they like, so would it not be as quick as a larger animal? Mm-hmm. But then, and that, that kind of, on the adverse of that, it, it kind of said, okay, does that make the gorilla seem faster or, or is it faster because it's smaller? I mean, is it more agile because it's tinier? Right. So I, I'm not sure if I can answer that question either. Sure. Um, uh, i tell you what. <sighs> A uh, bulldog-sized gorilla, yes, and a uh, giraffe-sized uh, squirrel. No, 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 no. A rottweiler-sized. <laughs> that would be insanity. A rottweiler-sized squirrel. I'm just kidding. <laughs> How would the neck even get that long? Um, I, yeah, I, I. Gorillas are are combative. They're very mm-hmm. territorial and they are powerhouses. And I don't, I, I think a squirrel would just continuously try to avoid the fight, regardless of the fact that it's uh, a Rottweiler sized. I know that those little chompers, those little, those little chipmunk teeth probably dive in there a little bit, but uh, <clears throat> nah, man, I'm, I'm, uh, my money's on that silverback. Okay. Okay, man. All right. I'm going out on the limb pun intended here because I'm going with the squirrel. I, I know what you're saying, Alan. It may not, be quite as agile because it's so much bigger but i mean you've seen large dogs that get down on like like when they're going for a toy and they're going back and forth on the paws and they're pretty yeah. quick even for a, yeah. a, a larger animal than a squirrel and so i'm imagining a squirrel doesn't lose that much in the giganticism uh, uh process there and wes you brought up the uh you brought up the teeth man i mean imagine what a squirrel can already chew through as a bite-sized animal and now it's the size of a large dog. I mean, those teeth have probably got to be the size of, like, your index and middle finger. And imagine it gets, like, right up on that, that gorilla. I don't care if he's got thumbs or not. Thumbs going down the belly of a giant squirrel. And plus, squirrel, yes, they would probably run from a larger animal. But now the gorilla is smaller than it. So I don't think it's going to be quite as intimidated. And um, as somebody who went to the uh, University of Maryland at College Park, Uh, The squirrels there were very territorial and racist, by the way. The gray squirrels owned the south campus. The black squirrels owned the north campus. Al, and if that, right in that brackish water area, oh, there were territorial battles like you ain't never seen before. I feel like the squirrels got the claws, and uh, the gorilla will put up a very, very equally matched fight. But I think at the end of the day, uh, there's there's a bloody mess of a silverback gorilla laying on the ground beside you. That's Master Splinter taking care of business. Okay. That's a good. That's a good call in the claws too. I mean, yeah, yeah. 
They're good enough to they climb, climb trees and stuff. So yeah, the size of a Rottweiler, man. <clears throat> and I got hit on last week. Uh, we made liar liar references and the claw. No, but you made liar liar references. Let's be very clear. Fair enough. Fair enough. <laughs> 